A 1,000 days countdown to 2015 and to ensure that nations across the world take a look or re-energize or make a commitment to meeting the MDG goals, that is the eight goals. Us in Sierra Leone today decided to have this meeting of all ministers, development partners, and the head of the UN here to take another look at how far we have come. The eight Millennium Development Goals, or MDGs as they're better known, were established in the year 2000 by the United Nations and are the most successful global anti-poverty push in history. The goals that all the UN member states have agreed to try and achieve by 2015 address common issues such as hunger, access to education, sanitation, maternal health and gender equality. This is a unique opportunity with the launch of the Agenda for Prosperity to actually set the priorities in such a way that those MDGs that haven't been met are uh, targeted so that they are uh, uh, achieved as soon as possible. The MDGs were launched while Sierra Leone was still in conflict and as a result comparatively less time was spent on implementing the objectives. The government, however, has been working tirelessly with international organisations and civil society groups to speed up the processes, many of which are aligned to the government's Agenda for Prosperity. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the development of the Millennium Development Goals we are all aware is a significant step towards eradicating poverty and we in Sierra Leone are happy to be part of that global effort. MDG 1, we may likely not make this. We may be able to achieve 2, 4 is possible, 5, 6, and 8. Let me at this juncture therefore open the floor for comments, questions, so as to be able to enrich the discussion this morning. Well, when we deal with malaria, I noticed from the slide there was a huge focus on how you treat malaria, but I think preventing malaria in the first place should be very key and a significant area that we, an area that we need to put significant effort in, and that is sanitation. Development partners coming to the table to assist government to ensure that we have the right strategies in place to Handicapping uh, Sierra Leoneans before you know they even get started in life is the whole area of nutrition. Um, we know infant mortality has come down. We know it's still too high. We also know that half of the cases of infant mortality are related to malnutrition. The only point I want to make is it's not only about money. We need to involve all segments of society, traditional leaders, community leaders, others who want to achieve their MDGs. One of the issues that we're grappling with here today is that we don't really know the details of the poverty data. So a question back to you, Minister, and your team, is um, what steps are you taking now to improve around statistics and around poverty data? The good news is that there are two pending surveys. One is the demographic health survey. And I strongly believe immediately that is concluded it will go a long way to give us a clear indication as to where we really are. Are we doing well? Is it that we are stagnating? Or are we making horizontal or vertical progress? But I think what, what um, we need to focus on if we want to hit those um, targets that we're almost at is to drive um, um, the implementation down to what I would describe as the front line, which is at district level, at local council level. Um, a lot of the policies are here, there are action plans that have been developed nationally. I think we really need to push it down to district level. I think that is where the people are, that is where the services have to be delivered and improved in terms of quality, in terms of human resource capacity, 
whether it's drugs, whether it's books, whether it's water pumps. Um, so I think if you want to see that acceleration, that is where the focus has to be at what I'm describing as the front line, where people meet the delivery of services. Wow. Every Sierra Leonean today should be proud of the results that have emerged so far. But what it takes, and if I should borrow from the leaves of His Excellency the President Koroma, is that there is a need for Sierra Leoneans to recommit to be able to do more. And I am particularly delighted that the commitment made by development partners today, and given the way we have been able to diagnose the issues, that together we'll be able to not only take on board some of the comments or observations and enshrine them in the agenda for prosperity, but that together in a collaborative and committed way we'll be able to move forward to levels that are unimaginable. Sweet Sierra Leone.